New tonight, middle school mayhem. News Channel 8 obtained shocking records revealing exactly how many times law enforcement has responded to Seminole Middle School. We're talking more than 100 times, including calls for multiple assaults and drug problems. This all came to light after students were caught on camera assaulting their teachers. Avery Cotton joins us live at the school in Largo. And Avery, I understand parents are telling you they are desperate for change. They sure are. Good evening to you, Jen. Even as they were waiting in the car line this afternoon, parents were coming up to us one after another today saying something has to change here. And according to these documents, there was a day here recently where the sheriff's office was called out six different times. Assault, disturbance, missing juvenile, assault, assault, assault. Since January, Seminole Middle School has called the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office more than a hundred times. According to the six page report, many of those calls were for assault and battery. This stuff, it happens all day. I mean, you can see it happens all day. In fact, right, it right, happened right, again today to Scott Williams' daughter. Sure. Tim, did they tell you how this fight started? Yeah, the girl walked up to her in the room and punched her in the face. Zachary Novak is an eighth grader who saw it happen and claims it's not the first fight he's witnessed. They've been disrespectful, acting very crazy, like they don't have any brains at all. Parents continue to blame administration for lack of discipline. The kids run the school, not the, not the principal and the school board members. The kids are running this school. We're talking lewd and lascivious behavior. We're talking disruptions, kids banging rocks. With the help of the sheriff's office, News Channel 8 discovered 10 arrests have been made this school year. Three were from this fight recently caught on camera. Parents like Scott Williams are at their wit's end. I am very upset. I am very much considering just taking my daughter out of school the rest of this year and being done. So what's being done about this problem? Well, I continue to reach out to the principal here and the school district. They continue to decline an interview on camera. All they tell me is they are listening to parents' concerns and they are working on a solution. Jen? Avery Cotton, live in Largo tonight. Thank you, Avery.